नमो नमः नमस्कारम नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्ध सलूटेशन टू द ब्लेसेड वन दर्ड दि वन एंड द फुली एंड लाइट एंड वन बुद्धा नमस्कार वी आर गोइंग टू सी माय इंडिविजुअल जर्नी ऑन द पाथ ऑन धम्मा और नाव डेज वी कॉल इट द जर्नी ऑफ विपासना I've been introduced to the vipassana almost 12 years back when I was a seeker trying a different philosophy and naturally when you grow up in a very traditional Hindu Indian family you been introduced to a different tradition different sect different philosophical practices so in 2004 uh, almost 20 years back I was reading a magazine, a uh, magazine named Aha Jindagi. It was a very popular magazine in Hindi language. So this magazine published a yearly article on different spiritual practices and the gurus in India. I was turning the page, reading, and I was like, okay, I know this. I tried this. I've been very familiar to this particular practices. Then I was turning the page after page after page, and then I turned the page. and there was a one sage sitting he was not a sage like but sage in the sense very peaceful calm he was asen goenka with the mata ji then first time i read the word vipassana and something clicked in me very strongly and i was like okay i should try this then it was there written that vipassana a way gautam buddha attained the enlightenment and on my yogic spiritual journey i see very similarity between the buddhism and yoga so then i went to did my first 10 days silent vipassana meditation also originally we call it the teaching of gautam buddha dhamma so i went and tried and my entire life changed of course it was not easy journey because when you are new in spirituality you are not used to sit for 10 12 hours a day but then i did it and i was like wow this is something different different at what level not only at the physical level but at the very core at the mind level first time i realized that there is a way we can see what is happening inside outside that's a little meaning of the word vipassana passana Pashyati, literally meaning to see, and the prefix V, Visheshena Pashyati means to see what is happening inside, outside, and developing the witness attitude to see the things as they are arising, passing, staying. So Vipassana actually a whole teaching, but very small part is meditation. and as we know that buddhism or the dhamma is a way of life vipassana actually come from anapansati sutta satipatthana practices means there are four foundations in mindfulness in buddhism we call it there are four foundation first the body the feeling the mind and the dhamma so vipassana is a three practices together normally we call it the samta bhavana vipassana bhavana and metta bhavana so when you go to the vipassana for 10 days first we learn how to concentrate the mind by how withdrawing all the senses means no contact with the outer world remember concentration is not going to happen nowadays we just go and sit and do meditation at the same time we are allowing the senses to go here and there but it's not going to work so the first step is to less stimulation from the outer world so you withdraw your senses and you are not allowed to talk or disturb your senses or necessary here and there then only you can go inside so the journey start with anapan sati focusing on the breath in and out breath naturally breath so then what happen mind calms down and then on the fourth day introduced to the vipassana now with the attitude of equanimity i scan my body parts what do you mean by scanning the body parts whatever the sensations are arising 
staying and passing away. Simply, mindfully, I develop witness, witness attitude, equanimity. And then what happened? We are living in the present moment. You may have heard many times people say, live in the present moment, but how? This is how. When the mind is very much focused on the breath, you are also aware of the senses, you are very much in the present moment. You are not thinking much about the past, no worry about the future. You are in the moment and when the mind stays in the present moment, mind gets purified. And only through the purification of the mind, we go deeper into know thyself. Also in Buddhism, we say in a Vipassana, there are three characteristics of existence. Anicca, Anatta, Dukkha. Hmm? Means everything is changing. Gautam Buddha says, life is suffering. Four Noble Truth in Buddhism, life is suffering. There is a cause of suffering. There is the end of suffering and that is Nirvana. And the fourth, there is a path, the practice that leads to end of suffering. So Vipassana is a part, a practice to end the suffering by first aware of your body, the breath, the feeling, the emotions, the mind, and develop drashta bhava, means equanimity, equanimity, mindfulness, witness. But remember, during the Vipassana training, also we have to follow the vows, means not killing, not lying, truthfulness, not using of intoxicants. So all those things help us really to understand, calm the mind. Now, what are the main practices? Concentration with equanimity and following the vows, or we call it the sila. So the point is, not allowing the senses to go out and go inside and focus on it. Then, then what? Then you continue your life very mindfully. Also, there are many misconceptions about Vipassana. It, it says this is the part of Buddhism, it is different than yoga, but no. Remember, yoga, Buddhism and Chinese is come from the same tradition. We call it the ascetic tradition or shaman tradition. Practices are same. To live in a nature, in a serenity, purify the mind and enter in a very disciplined life. We call it the shaman tradition. And from the same word, the word comes ashrama. Shramana, ashrama. Shaman means the one who is striving for moksha, nirvana or kaivalya. And ashrama is the place where we practice the meditation. So for Vipassana, the website is dhamma.org. You can go and check the details. And what are the prerequisites? Uh, yeah, mainly the challenges we face during the meditation is to wake up early in the morning. <laughs> Imagine your day starts at 4 o'clock and your days uh, end in the night around 8.30, 9 o'clock. I mean, throughout the day you are meditating. So the first challenge, wake up early in the morning. Second challenge, sitting and meditation. Because body is not very used to sit and do the meditation for a longer period of time. That's exactly where we need the yoga asana in the pranayam practice. So what are the things you are going to do before joining the vipassana? Practice the asana. So all the numbness, the pain, the stiffness that we have in the body, it's removed. So the nadis can purify it. And with the practice of pranayam, the mind becomes very lighter and very much focused. And now it's time to do the vipassana. So Vipassana is not different than a yogic meditation. Yoga is not different than the Gautam Buddha's teaching, the Dhamma. Because at the end, what is the goal? To know the body, the mind, the senses and realize the self. Remember, whenever the thoughts come like Dukkha, Buddhism, it, it talk about a lot of Dukkha, Dukkha means suffering. Yoga also talk about the suffering, but remember, this is not a pessimistic view to see the light, but to identify the root cause, the root cause of suffering that is our own ignorance. Ignorance of what? Ignorance is not to know your true self. And how? By knowing that what the self is not. So Vipassana meditation helps us to understand there is no self. What do you mean by no self? No self in the sense, the way you think of yourself, psycho-physical self is not the true self. 
and remember this is the journey towards insight so samta bhavana and vipassana bhavana means concentration and insight meditation so we wish you all the best on this journey to realize the self the journey of dhamma the teaching the vipassana the yogic journey my name is sadhu shri i am at himalayan yoga association namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa